Hey Libra, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Friday, February 19th. Let's see what's going on with Libra. At the heart of your reading, we have judgment. A major life decision. To not go back to the way things were. What's the challenge here for Libra? Knight of Swords. Well, the Knight of Swords wants to move quickly. You might not be able to move quickly. You might need to take things slow. So that might be a, an inner conflict. The Knight of Swords is also very certain of his own personal truth. So if you're still getting a grip on the Sword of Truth that represents your personal truth, then that could be your challenge. Show me Libra's focus. Page of Pentacles. You're really applying yourself to figure out how to move forward here. Page of Pentacles is the student of the deck, can also be seen as the child um, because they learn through handling, through doing. It's very tactile, very, um, all right, if, if I'm, say I'm teaching you how to use a computer program, the, the Page of Pentacles wouldn't learn by being shown how to do it, like, oh, watch me do it here on the computer so you see what I'm doing. It's like they would have to be sitting at the terminal I'm using all these old school terms. Do we even call it a terminal anymore? Like 1989 or whatever? <laughs> okay. Um, they would be the one hands-on doing the work in order to learn how to do it. And that's, that's the energy that you're focusing on right now. Mm-hmm. You might actually be engaged in some sort of formalized education, be a student yourself, or be thinking about going back to school. Show me the recent past. Death. Yeah, the, that's, that's what I was picking up on when I saw judgment. It's like, things are not going to be the same anymore. Releasing the old. Making the decision not to go back to the way things were. Um, so you've, you've embraced and adapted in the face of change. You've evolved, you've grown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're confirming that for me a lot. Show me the energy of the environment is the moon. So you're going deep here. You are accessing parts of yourself that you used to avoid accessing. but you're facing them now. Devil is at the bottom of the deck here. It's like the, your inner demons, your shadow. There's a lot of um, indications here of, of experiencing what some call the dark night of the soul. 
ego death. That typically happens connected to some traumatic event that leads to a major decision to change and move forward in a new direction. Um, it also uh, can be the catalyst for an awakening, a spiritual awakening. And that's really what I see here in this moon card is accessing a part of yourself that was previously hidden from you. That you wouldn't allow yourself to go there. Now we could be talking about um, needing to heal past traumas because the devil was peeking out, as, out, of, out at us there from the bottom of the deck. But that may not be for all of you. In the near future, we have the world in reverse. You're going to near the point where everything is finishing up and finishing up and finishing up and then you pass through the threshold and the new possibilities at the other end of that gate start to open up. You don't want to go back to the way things were before, and you won't. Not only that, but the world affords you the opportunity to not carry over any negative energies or lower vibrational energies with you to the next chapter of your life. And I think that's inherent in the concept of a, a dark night of the soul and our shadow work is because you have the opportunity to level up soon. Like, let's resolve those things so that you don't carry it forward and bring those energies with you so that you have to battle those demons in your next story. Your surprise energy, Six of Swords. Well, I mean, it doesn't come as a surprise to me to see this. This would come as a surprise if you're not fully expecting yourself to succeed in leaving behind a troubled past. Um, but you will. The Six of Swords indicates you might have help in doing so. Not necessarily, but... One sort of sub-interpretation, the way that I see it, is that there, there's a figure on the boat that's being ferried away from troubled waters that represents you, and then there's someone else steering the boat, which gives the implication that there's potential for, uh, for assistance. Now that could represent um, angelic or spiritual assistance, like um, spirit guiding you and preparing you and helping you support you through this journey, or it could represent them doing so through a human being, like, sent to assist you. That won't be for all of you, because it doesn't necessitate that there's someone helping you. You might be doing this on your own. Show me hopes and fears for Libra. Knight of Wands in reverse. What if I don't know what I want? What if I, what if I go off course? What if I'm erratic in my desires and it pulls me in a bunch of different directions that lead me away from my wish? Let's see where things end up. What is the most likely outcome for Libra? You want to get to your wish? Well, you're dreaming too small. You're, you're going to get there, but you're going to get to a, a higher level of what you've been wishing for than I think you're even allowing yourself to dream of. The star represents your purpose in life, your destiny. Um, it's very healing. It's very, um, you might be becoming a healer, 
Um, but the healing doesn't necessarily come through you to others. It might be to you from spirit. You may end up with an Aquarius. The star is the card of the Aquarius. If you have, if, if something that you are aiming toward is a relationship with a with an Aquarius that would be indicated here. For most of you, this is talking about um, feeling very connected to life in a way that feels purposeful and meaningful. You're living a life of purpose and meaning. Your advice. There's still work to do on your self-image. The Empress in Reverse says, you know you have potential. And it questions, why are you afraid to fulfill your potential? Ask yourself those questions and look at the answers because you have every right to step into your full potential to create everything that you want to create, to bring into this world whatever your destiny, your mission in life is to bring into this world. Um, and you're do you would be doing yourself a disservice if you if you don't see the potential in yourself that spirit sees in you. Libra, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow.